A teacher in the southern United States is not giving up his attempts to get creationism on the local school syllabus. The debate has been going on for more than 15 years. Artis Priyashwitar reports. Sometimes, maybe even a Dave Prentice is not your average scientist. While he's accredited to teach biology, physics, and chemistry, there's one scientific theory he doesn't accept, and that's evolution. I certainly believe that there is an intelligent designer behind the universe that's responsible for the existence of human beings. Prentice lives in Louisiana, deep in the so-called Bible Belt, where, according to a recent study, about half of the people there believe that every single word of the Bible is true. I would say that the probability is very high for creation and low for evolution, but I can't prove creation, and I also couldn't prove evolution. While Prentice's creationist beliefs may not be uncommon in Louisiana, it's an issue that gets sidestepped. Prentice teaches his class at this church at night, but he wants to move creationism beyond his church and into American public schools like this one, where Prentice teaches during the day. But he says the biggest problem is that no one wants to talk about it. Studies show that the more educated a person is, the less likely they are to believe in creationism. And that's why Prentice wants it to be taught in the classroom. For academic integrity and honesty, we're pretending that there's only one possible explanation for everything. We're ruling out anything outside of nature, which I don't think is intellectually honest. But even though it's legal, most don't teach it. He's convinced the elite are non-believers and don't want anything to do with religion. The elite are firmly committed atheists, and so they're not willing to present anything that might oppose evolution. But it's not good enough for these churchgoers. Everyone is getting really touchy about anything that has to do with Christianity. Um, they're afraid that it's going to offend people. There are so many unbelievers today, people, you know, veering away from God. And they're worried the United States is heading in the wrong direction. And America has shifted. It's no longer a Christian nation. It's now a post-Christian nation. I think God was responsible for this country existing. And if we push him out, I think that he is going to remove his hand of protection from us. And then Priya Shridhar, RT, Kenner, Louisiana.